Raw TV. I am not black. <laughs> To not only accept sin, but to celebrate it. Do you know what has been my most enjoyable pride campaign to date? No, what? Well, my gay pride campaign, of course. Not only do I get the chance to promote your own self-destruction, I get to use God's logo, the rainbow, to do it. Love is love, right? <laughs> my plan not only prevents you worthless humans from reproducing, it distorts the gender roles and allow me to bring all types of chaos and confusion upon your pathetic societies. It's been so successful, I've got men convinced they're women. And women convinced they're men. And some convinced they're no gender at all. And I've got two more pride initiative campaigns I'd like to introduce in the near future. And second is pedophilia pride. Now, society might not be ready for this one just yet, so we'll hold off. I convinced half of the... Pause. Now, let me just say this to you, right? As much as we... As much as I play these videos and we always want to talk about conspiracy theories, oh, that's not real, that's not happening, but everything that this individual right here, this entity has stated, is happening right before our very fucking eyes. Very Right before our eyes with our children. Now... I'm concerned about my species and my children first and foremost. And one of the things that he used in here and he spoke about was God's uh, identity, meaning the rainbow, the chakras, represents your soul. Nero melanin is condensed sunlight and in the center of light is what you call a prism and that's where, that's where all the colors are, illuminates from. And white illuminates all the colors. So. The, the sun is white now growing up the sun was golden and yellow so what's happening is we are all changing on the planet and this is why we are at the end because this is an embarrassment we are in a part of the solar system that we are showing this entity has convinced everyone on the planet more importantly the golden race that we are happy with the way things are living with the way things are the way we are happy with the way we're living the way things are going and more importantly no matter how much we argue about or feel some type of way about what they're teaching our children in school right now and how they're influencing them we are still sending our children there all we're doing is complaining about it we are not taking any type of action towards it so when the cosmos and our brothers and sisters take action towards it don't feel no type of way don't feel no type of way. And like I told you, the next step they're going to do, and they already passing laws for this right now, is pedophilia laws. Understand this, because the other race, because they share 98% of their genetic makeup with a, a violent animal and a curious animal at that. This is where you get Curious George from. A curious animal at that. These monkeys would try to sleep with a dog. A dog would let a, a monkey try to sleep with it. A monkey would try to sleep with any animal that would that will allow it to allow it to have sexual contact with it. So understand and overstand that. They I don't know monkeys do not have pineal glands in my personal opinion. They do not have a fully developed brain. So as much as we think that this right here is a joke, as much as we want to continue to complain in it and not do anything about it, not put one foot in front of the other, but all we want to do is use words and no action. All we want to do is use sit back and say, oh man, people are angry when they speak like this and talk, or talk about change, or they all oh, we want to hype our youth up to do what the elders should be doing. Put a gun in your hand, destroy the stores and kill. You want to hype your, you want to hype the children up, the star seeds up, the upcoming youth up to do what you should have been doing in the fucking 30, 40, 50, 60s and the 70s. So now you want to hype the youth up to do what you should have been doing. So you know why? Because you niggas is greedy, you're selfish and you don't have no heart for real, for real. So let me just show, let me also, let me play this here next for you. Pause. Yes. Four kids were found. Now they don't want the video to play. And a drag party with one dead trans guy on the floor. And the kids were in the back. There were sex toys scattered throughout the house. And a hoarder home doesn't make headline news. The first trans state representative, Stacey Lawton, a.k.a. Barry Lawton from uh, New Hampshire, was just arrested. So now they don't want the video. For distributing child porn. 
Okay, it just happened. And mind you, they couldn't find him because he transitioned and changed his name. How about this and one? And by the way, they're trying to pass laws in, in, in California and other states where if, once you change your name, if you're trans, it expunges your, 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 your criminal record. Oh, record. really? Oh, yeah. So, well, yeah. Just change your name, Alex. Yeah. So, yeah. Now you're Alexandra Jones, exonerated. Yeah, you're you, know, you owe no money. And one more. So three days ago, the ex-CNN producer John Griffin was sentenced 19 years for sexually assaulting a nine-year-old. Okay? And then this was the other day. This is in New York City, a drag mark where the marchers are chanting, we're here, we're queer, we're here for your children. Tell, me this. tell me this isn't disgusting. Listen. How many black people do you see in here? How many so-called black people? Now listen, this is out. We're here. How do you want to back those Republican school teachers? Four kids were found in a drag party with one dead trans guy on the floor, and the kids were in the back. There were sex toys scattered throughout the house and a hoarder home. Doesn't make headline news. The first trans state representative, Stacey Lawton, a.k.a. Barry Lawton, from uh, New Hampshire, was just arrested for distributing child porn. Okay, it just happened. And mind you, they couldn't find him because he transitioned and changed his name. How about this and one? And by the way, they're trying to pass laws in, in, in California and other states where if, once you change your name, if you're trans, it expunges your, 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 your criminal record. Oh, record. really? Oh, yeah. So, well, yeah. Just change your name, Alex. Yeah. So, yeah. Now you're Alexandra Jones, exonerated. Yeah, yeah, you know, owe no money. And one more. So, three days ago, the ex CNN producer, John Griffin, was sentenced 19 years for sexually assaulting a nine year old. Okay? And then this was the other day. This is in New York City, a drag market. March, where the marchers are chanting, we're here, we're queer, we're here for your children. Tell, me, tell me this isn't disgusting. Listen. Like, they're not there. Now listen, this is out. We're, we're how, do wanna, how do you want to back those Republican school teachers? Four kids were found in a drag party. Now, this is the sad thing about this, right? As much as this is right in front of our face, we really think we got a past that's coming our way. We really think because of slavery, we got a past that's coming our way. This is, this is, this is disgraceful. This is disgusting what we are subjugating our children to. Other races of people, if they want to do that with their children, that's their business. You see what I'm saying to you? But mind you, we're handing our children over to the very people that literally committed genocidal acts on us literally hung us from bridges raped abused molested us they did everything underneath the sun to us tortured us and more importantly to our children fed them the crocodiles are you serious and you really honestly believe that there is a past that's coming our way or you think this is really a joke you this you, some of us really need our heads fucking removed off of our shoulders. I am not playing when I say this, and I'm dead serious. Especially those that be talking this. Oh man, we need to be. We need to learn the law. We need to learn this. We need to do this so that way we can fight in court. What? All of this shit is. All of this shit is devilish. All of it is dark. Every last bit of it. The only light is through our children. The only light, Paul. I convinced half of the world to not only accept sin, but to celebrate it. Do you know what has been my most enjoyable pride campaign to date? No, what? Well, my gay pride campaign, of course. Not only do I get the chance to promote your own self-destruction, I get to use God's logo, the rainbow, to do it. Love is love, right? <laughs> My plan not only prevents you worthless humans from reproducing, it distorts the gender roles and allows me to bring all types of chaos and confusion upon your pathetic societies. It's been so successful, I've got men convinced they're women, and women convinced they're men, and some convinced they're no gender at all. And I've got two more proud initiative campaigns I'd like to introduce in the near future. And second is pedophilia pride. Now, society might not be ready for this one just yet, so we'll hold off. I convinced half of them. And we really think we got a pass. We really do. Age of Aquarius, remember what I told you, where the truth is more disturbing than the lie. Raw TV. I am not black. <laughs>